very nice day on Ilderay. We liked La Flotte a lot. <laughs> but having to head backwards slowly, time to move on. No. Turn around when possible. Yeah, I say that as well. Taking me that way yeah. on the other road. Yours is taking this way. Yeah. This says nothing over three and a half ton. Oh. Oh. It obviously was not the road we came in. So it looks like that eight euros is just for one way. Because there doesn't seem to be. Oh, is that further along? No. So keep going. Right. So we're at camping at Pindanair, Hervik, just north of Nantes. Nobody here. 22 euros a night. There's a swimming pool. I don't see any motorhomes. Or caravans for that matter. I'm just heading a cup of tea. Head into the shower block. Just to check it out. I don't think there's anyone here. It's 28 degrees C, it's very warm. So I might go for a swim later. Camping La Touez near St. Marlowe. 3844 on Axi car for two nights, including electric. Can't seem to get any Wi Fi, so I'm not sure about that. Um, It's 300 meters to the beach, so I don't know where. That's what I was talking about. And we there's the sea.
So we found the coast path. Have we walked along the beach for it? At least the dogs were off. Don't know if it's dog friendly, but other people have their dogs off the leash. Had to go on the past the nudist beach. Not done that in many years. And uh, over some rocks to find the coast path. So onwards to wherever it is we're going. What's that grand buildings on the front there. Big open beach. People swimming in the sea. Very sandy, sandy beach. Look at that the sand. So animals are allowed on the beach except for the period 15th of June to the 15th of September. So don't they have a lovely big beach? to the year. Oh, I'm hoping it's helped. 
from Cassin. <laughs> I think that's nice. Nice walk. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. It will be good, I want it to Saint Lunaire is a seaside resort which is located on the Emerald Coast of France. There is evidence of a Neolithic settlement around about 2 to 5000 BC by a stone path. Back in the 6th century AD, Saint Leonaris, a Welsh bishop, founded a monastery at Pontfort. And as the story goes, that he would be able to have as much land around the area as the sound of your bishop's bell could reach and this is how the town started. It has had other names like Port Lunaire but its final name became final, as final names would be final, uh, in the 19th century. St Lunaire is a small seaside resort on the Brittany coast but without the crowds that are found in Lunard which is close by. Leaving La Touez. Is that your bones or the blind? <laughs> Had a lovely walk yesterday along the coast path. Great for hiking, great for dogs on the beach, except height of summer, 15th of June to 15th of September. Uh, yeah, got a nice quiet site. And we're off today for these two little lads, lads, they're girls. To get their wooing tablet so we can hit the ferry on Sunday. So we're going to a vet in Signy sur Mer and uh, hopefully he's a nice or she's a nice vet. So they've just been to the vets. She didn't speak um, English very well, a little bit. The receptionists do though. Yeah but when I made the appointment they spoke good English. Um, in and out straight away. $49.90 for the two of them to have their tablets. So $25 each, just under, including the tablets. So all good. Very smooth, very efficient. Happy, that's done. Ready for the ferry now, girls, aren't we? Oh, nice vet. She was very friendly to the dogs. Checked them over first, so all good. I have issues with my oh, GoPro right, okay. and all you kept saying was are we are we nearly there? Are we nearly there? I don't know where you get there. It says down there. He's fixing his tractor. I'm not gonna let you in. Around the back is it? parked up. I think it's eight euros a night with the electric. Not 100% sure on that one. Wind's a bit breezy. So it's cooled off and the sun's gone. And Dave's locked it before he needed to. So he's angry. But we've got a... Oh, he's disappeared, the friendly dog. Anyway, we're just going to walk off to the beach. And in front of me. 
a field of cows just to make my day. Nice, nice. Farming. That's the lovely farmhouse. This is the archway. The entrance. I was going to do later. So taking the little side road, short walk along the other road, down to the beach. Which beach is it? I don't know. Omaha, isn't it? Omaha. Is it definitely the Omaha beach? I think so, yeah. Okay, so now we're in Normandy. Do you know, you correct? always ask these questions when I, when I don't really know until I've sat down. Well, I've just arrived. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm expected you... to be the fountain of all knowledge. You are, because you picked it. Yeah. Or is it Oklahoma Beach? It's not, it's Omaha, isn't it? Omaha. <laughs> Don't think we drove to Oklahoma. I can hear it. Yep. Hope the sun comes out. Code on the 9th of June 1944. Of the airfield A1 code name Fry was started here by the 834th Air Engineers Bank Battalion commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Livingston. 366 fighter group of the U 9th US Air Force, commanded by Colonel Holt, was based here from the 13th of June to the 24th of August 1944. On June the 3rd, the field was equipped for refueling and loading of ammunition. The first 3,600 feet strip surface was made of square mesh track and extended up to 5,000 feet with pierced steel plugs. There were 75 parking places along the taxiways. There's the farmer busy at work. It looks different. He's just doing hay there. Oh, that's it? just hay. That's not that crop. I was going to say it's too early for a crop. Yeah. Actually, that crop is looking pretty good yeah, for this time of year. Okay, so. I'm at the edge there properly. This says crumbly rocks, Dave. Are you trying to send me over the edge? No. Okay. So seven kilometres that way is Omaha Beach. And then three and a half kilometres that way. Is Pont de Hoc. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure if that's famous or something or not. Or whether it's all Omaha Beach for the World War II. See, GoPro won't pick it up, but there's some sandy beaches right over there, which we're assuming are Omaha beaches, beaches, beach. And unfortunately my uncle's giving me jip, so we're heading back. I don't know if you can see this. We've had several bug issues, but this time it's road rage kill. Look at all these. Where do they all come from? Like... All that done at under 60 miles an hour. Yeah, well, you weren't going fast. Look at all that. Madness. And that's just since this morning. Somewhere out there, beyond that ship, is Blighty. And with our sights on Britain, we'll leave you there. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.